Hey guys, welcome back. So my one and only passion fruit. So look at that. <laughs> it is maybe ready. Um, but right now it is February, uh, January, February time frame here in 2024. And let's look at that. Beautiful, gorgeous. So the last time that I did an update on this uh, vine of mine here, this guy here was just a flower. And, you know, within three days um, after hand pollinating it, it was the size of my thumb. So, so, so this grew quite fast. Um, but, uh, but my overall vine is still the same. Uh, nothing has changed. Uh, I don't think, may, maybe it grew a little bit. Uh, uh, maybe it grew a little bit. It is, uh, it is greener. It, look, it looks a lot more uh, lush than what it was. So I guess it, it likes the, uh, the cold and cooler temperature, maybe. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's what it seems like here. So the plan of this vine here is to cover this whole trellis, to cover the master bed right there so, because it gets really hot here in the summer. Um, so this guy here is in a pot. So I need to water this guy here twice a week. Uh, if I happens to miss one uh, session, this if if you have fruits, um, you know the, the this fruit here will look dehydrated. It 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 will crunch up uh, uh, like uh, a really ripened one that has fallen on the ground for some time, uh, just like that. However. Don't worry, if you water it again, it will get plumb like this again. So I was surprised, <laughs> very surprised. Uh, even the leaves, it would wilt, uh, just like tomatoes on a hot um, sunny afternoon. Uh, but then once you water it, it will come back uh, green like this, like it has never happened. <laughs> so this guy is very resilient <laughs> to a lot of things. So, but uh, this guy here can grow very, very fast. That's why it is in a uh, pot, a small pot, maybe what, maybe one or two gallon. Uh, so, so that's why I have to water it, you know, twice a week. Without it, this guy is gonna go. <laughs> but a uh, beautiful, beautiful vine, really. Um, so with passion fruit, you can do a lot. Uh, maybe, maybe not a lot. You can cut it open and eat it. Um, you can make a drink out of it, just like lemonade. Uh, but uh. I'm too lazy for that. Uh, you, you really need a lot, a lot, and a lot of uh, passion fruits uh, to make a drink. Um, so, you know, once in a while, if I get, you know, bored, maybe come and cut one and eat it. Uh, it, can, it can be quite sour. It can be sweet. You know, it, it depends, I guess, on the fruit. So, but I'm not, you know, it's, I'm growing it just, just because, really, to cover this trellis. And it feels a little bit exotic for the people that... You know come by to visit from you know from another location that you know doesn't have uh this but that's that's about it it's it's fun to have but uh, i wouldn't want this to be in the ground and you know overtake this entire house <laughs> but look at that beautiful beautiful gorgeous <laughs> this one maybe uh maybe more next season for sure uh, I actually had two flowers this season, but one I didn't hand pollinate, so that, that one went away. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty easy to hand pollinate, and uh, from my past experience, it's not needed. If you have a lot of flowers, something's going to set. And, and, and what are you going to do with all the passion fruits? Because you will have, like, you know, hundreds if you, if you let it, you know, if you <laughs> hand pollinate. So, <laughs> I don't know. If you, if you have a use for it, uh, then go ahead. It's, a, it's an easy, easy vine to grow. All right, guys. Have a good day.